Good morning, New York traders. Privateer FX coming at you. After a humbling morning. It's a humbling business this is. Fuck's sake. Uh, we walked in this morning uh, with a little B in our bonnet to be long dollars. Uh, first move was correct. See cable went down to 88. Then slammed back up to 50, which didn't really suit. Dollar Swiss done nothing. We were untouched again in this. We'll be buying through 40. We've had these 40s in, 37s, 36s in for a good 10 days now. It's crazy how we, we keep not getting entered, luckily. Um, but we think through 40, and it's on. Equities, we're fine. Shaded it a bit. Resold up here, 54, 50, bought some, uh, 47. Just helping the average. We're bearish equities. Shit looks like it's still going lower. Uh, dollar Rand. We like Dollar Rand higher. But look at that. I mean, we're knocking on the door up there. 1208.50, two times at the open. That's a kick in the balls right there, right? 11.98. Back at 12.02 now. We still like this, uh, and we're still at 12.10. Hopefully with some Jacob Zuma news. Stubborn old goat won't leave or something like that. We think this has a long way to go, considering the global macro scenarios here, risk off, we got the Zuma factor, no reason this thing can't go to 13, 40, long way, so hold on to your hats, let's see how we close today, see if we can make a new high today, which will be the confirmation of what happened, yes, on Friday, right now all bets are kind of off. But we'll see. We're sticking sticking with it at 12:10. Um, that's that. What else we got out here? Aussie yen, same thing. Trading it from the short side. We've actually done a nice job trading this today. We did not get paid at 44. Uh, we're just core short. Uh, we snuck some in down at 04. Um, sold some out at uh, 26. We're core short. This should go. This is the neckline. This thing should really go. I don't know. Down to 86, uh, 86 and a quarter or something. But it's a slow burner. This Aussie yen, unlike past, unlike past times in its career, Aussie yen's a slow burner now. Who would have guessed it? Used to be the canary in the coal mine for risk off. Now it's like, you know, the intoxicated cousin stumbling down the hallway. Anyway, Sterling Yen, you might want to just sell some down through 80. I'm not sure. We tried the uh, Euro Yen shorts through 70 this morning, down to 63. No love there. Took a very, very small loss, so that's fine. In general, it's the same. We're watching bonds. We're watching equities. We're short Aussie CAD Kiwi. We're trying to get short some more czar. Uh, we're looking at this dollar Swiss 93.40, and we want to be short cross yen, uh, which is proving to be harder. Easier said than done. But it's one of these Mondays where you're going to sit back on Friday and go, shit. I can't believe Euro Yen was at 137. I can't believe that Aussie dollar was 79.42. Because on Friday, Aussie's going to be 72.50. Euro Yen's going to be at 131. Cable is going to go through 139.80 like butter and close the week at 136.50. 
but we got to manage the risk and try and get one of these currency pairs correct. This will pay for your week. I'll leave it with that. Oh yeah, quickly, a uh, few guys asked me about uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum and Nimic. Same play. Your buyers down here, over the weekend you saw it traded all the way back up to 96. If you sell out 50 or 60 percent of your longs at a 10 percent profit your average is you know 50 percent lower so this is what we're trying to do core longs get core long in the 4,000 range we're sticking our necks out on the bid but as it goes back up 10 15 20 percent we're sellers and then we and then we stick our necks back out on the bid uh, this is what we're recommending it's been working so far Obviously, there'll be a lot of pain if this thing goes to, say, 2,000. But even if it does go to 2,000, if you're wearing an amount where your stop loss should be zero, just wear it. Because we believe Bitcoin and Ethereum and this whole crypto thing is here to stay. And the key over the next few months is who's going to win This is the key. We also like Nimic, which has been crushed, but we still like it. Down at 280 from 8 bucks. But our stop is at zero. We're gonna buy some more buy some more Nimic. Uh, it's harder to buy Nimic. Our our brokers don't have Nimic. We got some at the ICO. It's harder to find a place to buy Nimic, but we'll figure it out. Um, but we really like uh, we really like this one. Anyway, that's that. Uh, I will let you guys get to it. Have a good trading session. Talk to you tomorrow at the open. Ciao.